thank you. I did say on Twitter yesterday that I uh, wonder if anybody's nervous, but I am going to be adding myself. Um, when I got the email uh, from Karen, I think it was, with regard to would I um, say a few words, um, I was bang up for it straight away, without a, without a doubt, you know, at the end of the day I like moving my mouth about, and this time I'm actually allowed to do it, rather than trying to interrupt other people. Um, I don't genuinely plan what I'm going to say, but something from Karen's email, um, I liked, and I wanted to follow it on. He said, um, if you could stand up for five minutes at the beginning to tell us your story of how you nav found navigating the system, I think it will help to show people that there are problems um, and that it's okay to stand up and talk about them. I'm going to go, I'm going to, I'm going to keep on with that theme of navigation. Really cheesy, this has been a It's like, if you were going out for a trip to court, you know where you're going, you know roughly where you're going. You plug your sat nav in, navigation system, and it doesn't work for the first two hours of your journey. Then, all of a sudden, even though you're now in a real panic, it starts working and you can calm down a little bit. And for me, that's very, very similar to my experience of the mental health system in Dudley and Walsall. There's an awful lot of good stuff out there, but it takes far too long for people to get the help they need. Um, and also, when even when they do start to get the help they need, uh, they end up getting messed around, cancelled cancel appointments, uh, they don't really know what what comes next, there's no idea you know, how, it's, how long it's going to be, they're going to be waiting in it. Um, so navigating the system is, I speak to quite a few people, and there's quite a few of the people these days that's got positive things to say about the NHS, but there's always the but, it took me so long to get to uh, where I am today. And for me, um, I'm pointing around an idea at the moment of um, four questions, which I believe could help um, get in early with peer support, people like myself sort of, have experienced it. Um, I won't go into those at the moment, but um, it need, the help needs to come sooner. And this is going to be a bit unpopular because I imagine there's some GPs in the room. GPs ain't, ain't the ones to, to sort it out. Um, I had a poor experience with, with, with my GP. And realistically, the only reason we got anywhere is because my mum wrote a really nasty letter. And I was jumping up and down and mouthing off on Twitter as well, so I believe the NHS just wanted to shut me up. Um, but on that basis, um, I'm going to use other people's words to reinforce what I'm saying, that the navigation of the system is really hard because your sat nav ain't working for the first two hours of the journey. You've got absolutely no idea where to go, what your options are. It's just madness. So I, had this, um, I saw this guy about four or five times, and when I first met him, he was drunk as a skull, drinking himself to death um, as had him. He'd been in and out of uh, Russell's Hall a number of times, um, and they'd not once assessed him for his mental health needs because he was on drink and drugs, really. and obviously they don't seem to be able to cope with both of those. His mum said to me this, can I just say, after much heartache and just not giving up, I've taken the guy's name out, he's doing really well. He now has medication that is suiting him. I know it's still early days, but it's looking good. Thanks to you, we wouldn't give up until someone listened to us, and we'll say that at last our own doctors have been brilliant. If we hadn't had help and spoken to you, we wouldn't be where we are today. And I can honestly say, I even feel that he may not even be here. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, John. So there's a mother talking about a son who was about 25, that without my input, she felt he would be dead. I only saw him three or four times. And basically, I stressed about the fact that you shouldn't give up, don't give up, keep demanding it. Don't take the answers. If you, if you don't like them, keep, keep playing your face. Unfortunately, 
it's very difficult to do, especially if you're on your own. Um, so not having support um, in this world is, is very hard. So I genuinely believe that there needs to be a hell of a lot. The, the game needs to change in primary care. It's, you can't just sit around for months waiting. It can be six months. If it took me seven months to see my psychiatrist, well, in seven months, that's a mental breakdown. In seven months, somebody can go from you know, mild anxiety and depression to being completely and utterly messed up in the head. Editing that word there. Um, another, another thing that's, that's important about, I guess, about me is it shows that an individual can make a difference. Okay, I've had a lot of support over the last few years, but when I started the blog, it was me fighting against the system rather than off as much as I can. I've been invited to speak here this week. I spoke at Healthwatch Dudley uh, last week, and I am now part of the Citizens Jury of the West Midlands Mental Health Mental West Midlands Combined Authority Mental Health Commission. And um, that is um, run by a gentleman called Sean Russell, the superintendent of the police force. Um, and I met him a few weeks ago, and this is the text that he sent me after the meeting. Great to meet up, Palm. Always get a real sense that together we can make a greater difference. Take care, Palm. This guy is a good guy, and in his hands things are going to change. I've also got the ear of Mark Axel, the direct, um, director or chief executive of Dudley and Warsaw NHS Trust. Mental Health Trust. I'm also in contact with uh, Andy Bowsher, Matt Bowsher even, um, Adult Social Care. And they listen to me. I'm just a one individual that has made a difference. So there's so many other individuals out there making a difference as well. So if you don't feel as if you can make a difference, I'm here to say that you can. It's hard work, and I've seen an awful lot of people give up, but it's worth doing. And just wonder if there's one more thing just to, to read it out and then I'll shut up. I'll be I'll behaved, I've not. <laughs> I had this message of a guy, I've never met him, and he sends it sent to me on Twitter. I get a bit apprehensive about doing this kind of thing, telling people this kind of thing in case they overreact with the best intentions, but your vlogs, tweets mean that I don't have to feel that how I feel isn't normal or okay to feel that way. So I just wanted to say thank you. Long story short, I just wanted to make clear how much all of us, your followers, appreciate all that you do and the difference it makes and how honest and transparent you are. We have to be honest. One of my last blogs was called Them and Us Doesn't Work and it hasn't had many views because it's nine minutes and they're usually only five, so anyway. But at the end of the day, I've put the dip in my toe in the water now on my last blog, basically saying that I am working alongside the guides in power, the people who can make a difference. It may seem like I'm showing out a little bit, believe me, I'm not. But an individual can make a difference and there's some amazing individuals out there trying to change things and I'll show them now.